I think this is 18. The lace isn't the cleanest. I still have all the combs in this wig, so I plan on taking them out. So here's my hair. These braids have been in for a month. Ugh. I actually need to grease my scalp again, but I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to do it right before I install the wig. Here you see me restocking my mousse. I bought the Lot of Body Satin Spray. I mean, Lot of Body Mousse. And I was just using that to mold where I want the hair. This is like my basic wig mold for just if you just doing the side part i would just mold the part back with the mousse and then go in with the hot comb over it and really seal it in so it stay molded back that's what you guys see me doing right now i got the lot of body mousse um refill from family dollar actually so if y'all run out of mousse don't buy a whole new thing keep your pump just buy the refill that's what makes sense it's literally the same thing it's just not in the pump bottle so yeah, you saw me with the hot comb. Y'all see it flat and laid per. Um I did it to the front also in the back. You see it's flat, it's ready, it's just really cute, like pretty. So I'm just trying to take y'all through my process where I'm trying to put all this up. This is where I want right here. This is where I want all the hair to be, right here on this list. So, I'm going little by little because, first of all, obviously, I never did this before. So, I'm going little by little. I'm going to take this out. I'm just going to use some mousse. Put this, start directing this part up into the ponytail and then when i take the ponytail out I'll, I'll fix it all right y'all i'm back in it like a crack at it so like i said i'm gonna like push this like sleep this up so i got the side so i also figured something out let me show y'all and when i combed through it when after it got to be sprayed dry it was like it had a little white cast just a little bit not too much but you know, I don't want to see it. You can't see it on this one. This side is pretty good. Yeah. But what I realized, like right here in the middle, where this dent is. Hold on. Y'all see where this dent is? Right here. You got to be strong as shit to turn this. Where this dent is right here. That's got to be. So I'll comb it out and push it backwards. And I can see a little white cap. This is the oil shan I use. It's called ISO Plus. It's coconut oil. So basically, you see where this is? Where it's white, where you sprayed it and it's hard. You just spray this with that from like a good distance. Like right there. You don't need that much. And comb it back through. And yeah, it does it. Sure. Y'all see the difference? Like, it made it a little oily, obviously, because it's oil, but it gave it the shine without it being, like, hard. Because I did, like, right next to that spot. And look at it. It's so flat. It's, like, it's literally giving. It's coming from the scalp. We'll see y'all let it dry. Make sure your hot comb plugged up and it's hot. Okay, as you guys can see, I'm molding up the ponytail. The back of this wig was hella thin. Like, you can see the tracks on a wig cap. It's very thin. But, y'all will see me sew in an extra bundle just to cover that up in the next clip. But, yeah, it was very thin. And But, y'all just see me perfecting how I want the ponytail. Like, the front was laid. The back, the back was something. But, this is me attempting to sew. Well, I did sew a an a, a extra track. However, I'm not I'm not a sewer in wigs. I don't I'm not that's my first time ever doing that. So it's not a tutorial, just me showing y'all how I did it. Y'all can follow a tutorial. But also this helped hide like the fact that it's not coming out my scalp. Okay, so now I'm about to just flat iron the ponytail. That's what y'all gonna see. Before we get started, I'm using the flat iron. The flat iron is gonna be on 410 degrees. 
got it heating up right now. I mean, it says it's ready, but I want it hot, so. And then I have my hot comb. It's always already steaming. And it's on six or eight. It's on eight. Keep protecting. I'm always using this Chi Iron Guard. Get it from TJ Maxx. Do not buy it from the Beauty Supply. Do not buy it from Sally's. Do not buy it from wherever else. Get it from TJ Maxx. It's cheap as there. They have hella cheap stuff. Get it from TJ Maxx. But I, if I do think I'm going to curl the front piece, I'm going to spray it with the Chi Helmet Spray. It has a level 5 hole level, so that's, that's good. And it unlocks like this. So it's locked. You turn it, it's unlocked. So here I am just flat ironing the wig. I don't really have much to say about this. I just flat ironed the ponytail pieces before I curled it. Because I didn't know whether or not I wanted to keep it flat or keep it curled. But I curled it in the end. I actually won't curl it. However, I don't know what happened to that footage. I lost it. Or maybe I didn't record it at all. But I just won't curl it and pinned it up and sprayed it when I won't curl it. But yeah, um, this is me flat ironing the ponytail purr look at the hair i love my hair y'all see the flow y'all see it still got body like look at it purr i'm trying to think do i want to do a barbie ponytail or is this very full but i'm wondering what it would look like if i curled it Because, honestly, I don't like the way it looks straight like this. I look good, but it's not, like, a silk straight. It's, like... Okay, so I really love how the ponytail looks. I fixed it up a little bit. I changed the rubber band, actually. And I just... I'm spraying it some more. It, like, got to be... Just so it holds. Because... Ain't no way I'm ready to let this, especially by the base. Y'all know what it is RD15 with me kisses. So, like I said, I'm not going to be talking. So, hold on. And I could just bobby pin them back. Okay, so for the ear tags, like for like my um edges, I'ma just pin them. Boho glue. This one. Active. Extreme cream. No alcohol. This one, this is what I use. Three layers. Stick it on, blow dry, throw the wig band on. Grab your marker and mark where you want to put the glue here. So here I am applying the glue. Like I said, it was bow hole. I do three layers, and those are like the size of dots. Y'all see I messed up right there. A bunch of glue squirted out. But basically... What I just did was wait for that to dry clear until I added the next layer. Like, I skipped over that part. And then... I wasn't even recording me putting it down. The little middle part, courtyard, I literally just put it on. It was just some dudes outside. They just laughing, loud, talking, drinking, smoking, and stuff like that. So, we go walk right there, right up to them. Oh, I said put it down before we go down. Hold on. All right, y'all. I had it on for a while. It was very hot. I mean, it was very tight. Wow. I'm ready to take off these clips for the edges. Okay. I got my little flat iron heating up. Baby hair is on fleek. Let me show y'all the back. I have bobby pins right here. One, two, 
And I have another one I'm gonna So I'm just gonna take a piece from the back and wrap it around. So this is the end of the video. I look good. Per per. Subscribe and comment down below. Yeah.